Hello everyone. In today's class, we are going to cover how to pitch to investors. This is obviously a very important uh, skill to master because if you want to raise funding either for business angels or venture capitalists, and in some cases to banks, it's important that you know what to tell them, how to tell them, and in which format. So let's start uh, with an example. So this is a list of things that the Ice Angels, a very famous business angels groups in uh, Auckland in New Zealand, suggest founders to cover in their presentation. As you can see, it's approximately a seven, eight minutes presentation. It can last usually between 10 and 15 minutes. You don't want it to be too long, otherwise probably your investors will get bored. And in any way, it doesn't take too much time or it shouldn't take too much time to convey your message and the quality of your company uh, and to convince your investors. Of course, then the, there is usually a Q&A session. You can have another meeting. But the first meeting and the first presentation is usually short and concise. Again, this is just an example. Some companies or industries might have a different order, might spend some more time on, on some of these topics. But this gives a general overview of what you should cover and how much time you should spend on each of those items. We will not go into details on each of them because in the next slide, I'm gonna show you an example and we will uh, see how this works in real life. But if you want, maybe take a few minutes, pause the video and uh, read each of them in, in more details. So moving forward, in the next video, I will show you um, an example of a company which is called Liquidity. And this, is, this video is taken from a competition which is called TechCrunch Disrupt Butterfield. In this case, it was held in New York City. So during the video, try to think about the type of concepts that the presenter is talking about. So before we, we have shown you a list, the one-liner is talking about the competition. So during the video, start to think in your mind and frame the type of concepts that they are talking about. After every few seconds or minutes, I will stop the video and we will uh, discuss what he is actually talking about. So but think about it by yourself already. Let's start the video. Ready. Hi, my name is Victor Huang. I'm the CEO of Liquidity. We design products that make water safe to drink instantly, anytime, anywhere. To explain. So as you can see, he spent probably 10, 15 seconds just to tell you in the so-called one-liner. It tells you we are uh, making a product that helps you to drink clean water anytime, anywhere. So in the first 10 seconds, you already know what he's going to talk about to you in the next 10, 10 minutes or so. Hi, my name is Victor Huang. I'm the CEO of Liquidity. We design products that make water safe to drink instantly, anytime, anywhere. To explain, let me introduce you to someone. This is E. coli. He's a nasty looking creature. And if you drink him, he's even nastier. And it's not just E. coli. He's got a bunch of nasty buddies like Cryptosperdium and Giardia. Every day, they get millions of people sick. 10,000 people will die today because of these guys. One billion people on the planet cannot get dependably safe drinking water because of them. Now, why is this so hard? So here's a number to remember. Six nines, 99.9999%. This is a commonly accepted standard for bacteria reduction in order to get safe drinking water. It's what the EPA uses. But this is a very hard standard because it means that fewer than one out of a million bacteria can make it from the source of the water to your lips in order for you to stay safe. This is compounded in difficulty by the fact that you can't see this stuff. These germs are not visible to the naked eye. It's the invisible stuff that kills you. You can't just take water that looks dirty and make it clear uh, in order to be safe. So in the last uh, probably one minute, he has been talking about the pain. So what is the problem? And he mentions uh, E. coli and he shows you images of bacteria and viruses, which of course nowadays are also very actual. And in, in, he also gives you some very impressive numbers. For example, he talks about 10,000 people dying every day 
and it says one billion people in the world that cannot drink water, safe, water safely. And so he's showing you there's a big problem around the world in impressive words with impressive images. And he also tells you that the standard for clean water is very high. He shows you an image with 99.9999% um, of standards that are required. So it tells you in the first 10 seconds, this is what we do. And in the next minute, it tells you we are solving a huge problem around the world. Let's go on. Well, now the world has had to make a fundamental trade-off. On one hand, you had products that didn't work. And on the other hand, you had products that were really hard to use. So common household products that use activated carbon, they don't get rid of the germs that actually harm you. Other methods like UV lights, pressurized systems, or chemicals like chlorine or iodine, they've got all sorts of drawbacks. They take electricity, they require pumping or sucking, they take a lot of time, or they don't taste very good. Liquidity's technology transcends the state of the art. We are able to eliminate those trade-offs. For the first time, you can get instantly safe drinking water with no chemicals, no electricity, and no pumping. Now, why is this important? Well, it means that we can combine effectiveness, remember 99.9999%, with convenience, something that's hassle-free, to create everyday use products. This is a huge deal, because it means that we can finally take water from being a scarce and precious resource and make it into something that's ordinary and commonplace and universal. So uh, we have the uh, TechCrunch. So at the moment, what he has done in the last minute, it has shown you that the competition is struggling to come up with a solution that combines convenience and effectiveness. It tells you some products work, but they're not very convenient. And if they are convenient consumer products, they're probably not effective to the standards that we need. And now, of course, imagine what is it going to show you? Is its products and how is its product works in, in theory better than the competition? That was very kind to go up to Central Park just a couple of hours ago and get water fresh from the source. Uh, this is New York's finest. And um, I want to do a demonstration just to show you just how easy this is to use. Thank you, guys. Uh, this, this is what, what we've got here. And um, you can see uh, in this bottle, this is a bottle using our technology, just how fast the water flows, just like that. It's nearly effortless. It's like uh, drinking from a normal sports water bottle. In fact, it's so easy to use, my six-year-old loves drinking from this. So how does this work? So at the moment, remember what he has told you is that uh, the competition has a trade-off between convenience and effectiveness. And so in this 30 seconds demonstration, he has shown you that this product is convenient and easy to use, and even a six-year-old child could use it. And in the next step, he's going to show you that it's not only convenient, but it's also effective. Well, geek out with me for just a little bit, as I explain. So we're able to create a dense web of fibers that are amazingly thin. They're, they're one six hundredth the width of a human hair. We can take these fibers and put them into a membrane, and then put that membrane into a cartridge, just like this one which is what I just used in the bottle I just drank from. The way we make this is like a form of extreme 3D printing. We have hundreds of nozzles spinning down these fibers at the speed of sound. It's an amazingly precise, environmentally controlled process with scientific precision. You can think of it as mass production meets 3D printing on steroids. And when these fibers are deposited down, you get this, which is this dense mesh of fibers. And this is a cross-section view. You can see as the particles travel from the top to the bottom in this picture, the bacteria get stuck at the top. They can't make it through. They get stuck like fish trying to get through a fish net. So the bacteria stop, but the water flows. In fact, the water flows ridiculously fast. To bring this idea to life, we had to put together a dream team of some of the leading... So in the last 40 seconds, you have shown you again that this solution is not only convenient, but is also effective. And so it shows you that all the bacteria are blocked as fish in a fish net. And so this basically is telling you we are better than competition because we can combine effectiveness with convenience. Scientists, engineers, business people, and experts in the world in clean drinking water. These are veterans of some of the leading brands in the business. In fact, every single day, you probably drink water that was filtered by products that our team helped develop. And there's serious science here. There's over 15 years of fundamental R&D from Stony Brook University. 
supported by the National Science Foundation. And boy, have we tested this. We've done countless tests. In fact, we've published a test report on our website from a respected independent third-party laboratory. We're rolling out several different products. So in the last few seconds, he has shown you the team. And in particular, he is trying to demonstrate that there is legitimacy behind the human capital, that they come from big companies like 3M or Brita. And at the same time, it actually is 15 years of R&D from Stony Brook University. Most of the time, what I've seen is uh, um, pictures of the team members and a short description of each of them. And in this case, it's combining all of them, maybe because he has a shorter time frame to present and trying to give you a broad picture of reliability of a good team that you can trust and that has the expertise to finalize the, the business and bring it to market. Let's see in the next minutes what it shows you. First product is this. This is our uh, personal water bottle. We call it Naked Filter. It allows you to get instantly safe drinking water anytime. We're selling this all over the world. Next, we're going to roll out to a num number of other products, including household products, like this one here, where you put dirty water in the top and get clean drinking water out below. And then industrial and commercial applications, like uh, biomedical processing and other sectors. Our plan is to become an Intel inside that powers an entire generation of new products in the water industry. We're gonna roll this out all over the world, but we're gonna do it in, in key stages. So we've already started in the United States and Europe where we're reaching out to the health and the wellness and the recreational markets. These are the same people that buy from Whole Foods or REI. But there's a huge opportunity where we're simultaneously going after, which is the growing middle classes in the emerging markets, places like Brazil, China, India, Mexico. There are hundreds of millions of people with purchasing power, but still cannot get dependably safe drinking water. So a mother in Sao Paulo is concerned about her child's health can take this water bottle and put it in their backpack when they go to school in the morning and be guaranteed that they're getting safe drinking water all day long. Once we scale up and are able to reduce manufacturing costs, our plan is to take this everywhere else, bottom of the pyramid, rural villages. Our vision is to reach 1 billion people. We're really excited here at TechCrunch Disrupt to announce that you can now purchase our Naked Filter water bottle directly off of our website, nakedfilter.com. You can go there and pre-order one right now, and we're going to ship them in three months. In fact, I encourage you to do so because... So in the first, uh, in the first few minutes, he is trying, he's trying to give you um, a number of information. So the first one is the strategy, and let's say the business model. So he says, we will start with this uh, little bottle, and then we will move into industrial applications and commercial spaces. And so this is something called the product extension. So you don't want to start with three different products because of course as a startup, your resources are limited. So you start with one, um, one market, which is the consumer. Before he talked about uh, whole food uh, consumers, so kind of rich uh, or at least wealthy uh, health conscious consumers. And then once this market has been, um, let's say conquered or at least established, then you, you will move into commercial applications. He also talks about uh, something called geographical expansion. You can start selling, having uh, offices all around the world. So it says we start here in the US, in Europe, then we move into developing economies such as China, India, Brazil, and then we will go into um, like poorer economies once the cost per product and we will diminish by reaching economies of scale. And this is a good, good idea, it's a good presentation because it tells you what they plan to do in stages and also shows you that they have been thinking about their resources and how to exploit and, and use them efficiently and progressively. So in this case, it's business model, strategy, and long-term expansion. You'll be getting healthier water for yourself, but you'll also be joining us on a journey as we bring cleaner, safer drinking water to everybody on the planet. Thank you very much. And of course, now he has concluded, he is trying to bring you with him on a journey and he's giving you the final line that they try to bring safe drinking water to everyone. So this concludes the presentation of liquidity, which I think is a good example of an effective uh, presentation. The presenter is engaging, he's not using a lot of text. You can see that most of the slides have one or two lines of text max most of the slides have a big images with impressive uh, um, graphic that will stay in your mind. You'll probably still remember the E. coli slide 10-15 uh, minutes ago, the 99.9% .9 
all these type of images uh, are easy to remember and you want your investor to be impressed and to remember your presentation. The, not every presentation is the same. Of course, they can change. This is a technology presentation, so there is quite a bit of uh, uh, time invested in explaining you how the technology works. In some other cases, you might be more uh, consumer centric, so you might want to explain more what your consumers want or how the, your uh, product will change their uh, life. So there is some variations, but I believe that this is a good uh, is a good standard. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation. I hope you enjoyed.